Hello, Mr. Andy here. This is the last installment in setting up AutoCAD at home to make it look like it is here at KCC. And what we're going to do in this uh, last video is show you how to get toolbars turned on. It's not very intuitive to turn toolbars in on in uh, AutoCAD. Most programs you can right click on some toolbar button or ribbon button and get a toolbar menu, but not here. Um, so let's take a look. I'm going to go up and click on the Manage tab, or Ribbon. And I'm going to click on User Interface. And it's going to open up this dialog box for us. Now, uh, you have to find the current workspace. It's just the current setup. Um, you can have multiple workspaces set up, and you can switch between them. Um, it should be the same as you see here when you've done a brand new install at home. So I'm going to click on that current workspace and you want to make sure that this changes to say workspace comment contents and that you now have a toolbars item here on the tree. What I'm going to do is come back over here to the left side and I'm going to expand toolbars and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get the zoom toolbar and I'm going to drag and drop it over here to the toolbars. So I'm going to drag the zoom toolbar, click and hold that zoom button down, and drop it here on toolbars. Now I'm going to click apply, and notice that AutoCAD just cluttered up my screen again with a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to click OK. All right, so I got to get these out of the way. So I'm going to go to view, and I'm going to turn off the navigation bar and the view cube, and I'll go to 360 and I'll turn off the design feed again. Um, and underneath was the zoom toolbar hanging out. Now we want to dock that right underneath the drawing tab here. So I'm going to grab it right here and we'll see if Windows is going to cooperate for me. When I'm recording it really messes up my display. I can't see where it's going and there we go. You've got to get it so that it docks uh, on the screen and you'll see this gray bar appear across here. Alright, I'm going to slide this over now right to the left edge and drop it down. Now once you have one toolbar adding toolbars is very easy so all you have to do is come up and right click and now it lists all the toolbars that AutoCAD has and we're going to turn on the dimension toolbar and I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn on the Object Snap Toolbar. Those are the two toolbars that we use here at KCC. I'm going to take the dim Dimension Toolbar and I'm going to drag it. Again, it's going to be hard to see. At home you'll be able to see it drag. And dock it right next to the Zoom Toolbar. And then I'm going to take the Object Snap Toolbar and I'm going to take it over and drop it right next door. This is the configuration that you will see at KCC when you're working on drawings. I do want to show you one other thing when you're setting up AutoCAD at home. First of all, you can get multiple stacks of toolbars in here if you want to add them. I'm going to just open up another toolbar here and let's just grab the uh, Modify toolbar. <clears throat> Notice it docked over here on the right side. So you can, when you dock toolbars, um, you can dock them up top below the tab or you can dock them on either side of the screen. So if you want more toolbars in so you can see all the modify tools by default it docks over here. If you drag it and drop it up here it will turn horizontal and dock up there. Um, you could dock it over here or if you just want, want them floating in space. Some people like to work that way. Just drag it out in space and drop it and it will just float there over, to, over the top of your drawing. So Dock this wherever you like um, if you want to add more toolbars. But by default, what we see at KCC are these three toolbars. So there you have it, turning toolbars on in AutoCAD. And as always, enjoy.